Another long-lost friend of Arya's is returning to Game of Thrones this year. At least that's what we think after reading Time Magazine's massive cover story about the upcoming Season 7. The whole article is definitely worth a read, full of awesome details about what to expect when we return to Westeros in just three short weeks. But the tidbit that really caught our eye has us hoping that the Arya Stark reunion special every fan has been demanding may finally come to pass. Well, maybe the second Arya Stark reunion fans have been demanding. Sorry, Gendry Files! But Time reporter Daniel Daddario did have this to say about his visit to a shooting location in Belfast. Wolves described in the script as skinny and mangy showed up to the shoot looking fluffy and lustrous. So why is this so exciting? Well, because it's always a cause for excitement when wolves show up on Game of Thrones, especially since wolves have been turning up less and less on the show. Supposedly, showrunners Benioff and Weiss hate wrangling the mangy mongrels. They are by far and away the most frustrating creature effects on Game of Thrones, so expensive and so complicated to shoot with that they make the dragons seem easy. Now think back to last season and you'll pretty much only remember one significant lupine appearance, and that's when Ghost was sadly waiting for his master, Jon Snow to return from the land of the dead. Apparently, the only wolves they really want to work with are ones that are moping around like silent teenagers. So if not just one wolf, but multiple wolves are showing up on set, that means they must be pretty important to the story. So who could these wolves possibly be? Well, for those of you who have forgotten, five direwolf pups were adopted by the Stark clan at the start of Game of Thrones, three of which, Summer, Greywind, and Shaggy Dog, have all been taken to live at Uncle Ned's farm in the country. Let's just... Let that sink in. <laughs> that just leaves Ghost, who is currently chilling with Jon in Westeros, and Arya's pet Nymeria, and that's who we think will be leading this all-new wolf pack. Nymeria hasn't been seen on the show since season one, when Arya released her into the wild to escape execution at the hands of Joffrey, and since then we've seen neither hide nor hair of her, but she has had a role in the books. After her escape, rumors circulated about a pack of wolves led by Nymeria stalking the Seven Kingdoms and attacking people, typically enemies of the Stark clan. There are even chapters where Arya dreams she is a wolf, which is most likely her sharing a strong psychic connection with Nymeria, maybe even showing off some unrealized warging potential. Of course, in the books, the wolves have always played a much more major role, and their connection with the Stark kids has always been way more important. But that importance has been played down on screen, probably mostly for the reasons mentioned earlier. Shooting with wolves is a giant pain in the butt! But as we head towards the final episodes of the series, it makes sense that the wolves would be brought back into the spotlight. They seem significant to George R.R. R. Martin's endgame, which means Benioff and Weiss will probably want to highlight them as well, even if it means dealing with a bunch of doggy divas on set. Of course, the best news about all of this is that if Nymeria can return after nearly six seasons, so can anyone. But what do you folks think? Is that Nymeria or Ghost or some other wolf? Let's discuss. And it's your last day to get your free 60 days on Alpha. Head on over to projectalpha.com and sign up using the special secret code SHIPMATES in honor of Mothership. Thursdays at 5.30 p.m. PDT live right here on YouTube, and you'll also get access to all of our premium content. It's the best way to support Nerdist and the best way to see the best of what we've got to offer. It's the best. 